guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Berseria with the for Take Games. On the last episode, we fought again, or against an that kind of ish. We fought against a dragon who was our young Malak friend, Silver. Rest in peace, Silver. Well, he's not technically dead, he's a dragon, but the, the dragon looked kind of dead. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we fought against Silver. Um, then we fought against a Nomadat laugh set was really freaking badass. Then we came here, escaped to here, and uh, now we need to go to Lionel Island again because apparently Eifried is supposed to be there, although we all think it's a trap, so this will be fun. Let's have a look at our expedition that came back between episodes. Take a look at this. Eye of newt and mushroom spore, tender parts of prickle boar! It worked! Huge success! Okay, okay, three new things because this is our first time here, but that's good. A new recipe! Ooh. I've gotta try it! We got the Bazonga Veggie ba Banyakoda? Banyakoda? Eating lots of vegetables will give you bazongas. But what are bazongas? Guess I'll find out when I play Zillion. Okay, uh, we'll go back there again. Show them how I Freed's crew can sail! Oh, nice! Oh wow, a whole freaking ten minutes off of it! I am not complaining. Okay, that'll be back in 20 minutes. Wow, well, that's actually really cool. Uh, right, let's head to the ship, shall we? Um, looks like we'll be having a bit of a fight later on, but that's always a fight. Uh, yeah, we're all about BG and stuff. Right, Eldor, let's go! Uh, okay, Lila Lila Dwarf, let's go. Really though, should I start skipping these or do I just let them go? Because this is a really long trek. <laughs> Aizen, everything all right? We're almost at Lionel Island, all thanks to this ship. She's got a good compass. Yeah. If only my inner compass held as steady. From the first moment I laid eyes upon that demon, I think I knew it was Eifried. But some part of me refused to accept it. That's because you're Eifried's friend, don't you think? After all, he taught you that the Reaper's curse was part of you, part of your creed. We were lost at sea once. Twenty straight days we floated together, close to death. And all he says is, you sure know how to liven up an adventure. He sounds like an incredible person. You did the same thing for Velvet, you know. Only because you taught me how, Aizen. Your wheel is yours to hold, right? That's right. That's what it is to live by one's... Look! It's Lionel Island! Not good. The Von Eltia's already there. We're too late. Eleanor! What's going on? What happened? A horned demon attacked us out of nowhere! They're breathing. Barely. Zavid rushed here to save us. Had he not come when he did, we'd all be dead. This is all because I hesitated. Where'd they go? Zavid lured the beast away, towards the interior. Let's go! Well, guess we gotta go and find that demon. Oh dear. Right, uh, we have a lot of people to talk to. Let's start with Grim. Hi Grim, how are you doing? The fight between Zavid and the horned demon moved to the island's interior. Be wary, that demon is hiding something. I'm sure he is. Right, hi there. Uh, that's not, no. Oh, oh. <sighs> Good to see you safe, Skipper. Fool, you're no good to me if you don't watch out for yourself. Ah, hi, Kamalata. Ah, don't leave me to hell! Don't worry, Kamalata. I think I caught a glimpse of hell there, but I'll be fine. Yeah, you better be fine, you lizard. Hi. I'm sorry. That horrid demon's fighting style is so fluid. 
It's like he's got no style at all, in fact. I couldn't lay a finger on him. Well, this might be a fun boss battle. Hi! Damn. Watch yourself, Skipper. That horned brute is... No, it couldn't be. He'd never fight like that. Simmer down, Benwick. I'll do what needs doing. Yeah, yeah. I'm with eyes in here. Hi there, hard and pirate number two. Oh, sorry, just pirate. Ugh. That guy throws one hell of a punch. <coughs> Skipper, I think that may be the meanest foe we've ever faced. Aye, uh, no mistake. Yep, we all know who it is, don't we? Hi. Whew. I'd be worm food right now if it weren't for Lava Set's healing. Yep, yeah, he's a good kid. Hi. How are you doing? I've forgotten what your voice is. The message that told us to come here was in a code known only to the Von Altius crew. Why would it lead us into this mess? Well, hate to break it to you, but they had someone on the inside. Um, actually, uh, would it be Ifrit slash the Horn Demon, or would it be freaking the Enfu? <laughs> Who told them the code? Well, that's interesting, actually. Huh. Oh, these are turtles. I thought I was turtle soup! I never want to go to a place like that again! Okay, I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. Maybe Hex and Isle? Right, uh. Oh, he doesn't sell soul balls. Oh, that's just depressing. Toils! Why don't you sell the souls bottles? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, that's fine. We'll live without them. Thanks anyway, Toidles. Okay. Uh, right, we need to head to the Isle of Interior. I s again, still hate this area. Luckily, there's no puzzles this time, so it makes it a lot quicker. And I know the shortcut this time. I, I did know it last time, technically, but... Um, well, the fact that I got so lost, <laughs> um, as well as the fact that the shortcut was blocked for a while, uh, made it a bit more difficult to get through. But it's fine. It's cool. We can go there this time. Get some uh, cat souls on the way. I definitely need to do some cat soul farming and just general farming actually. I'm feeling the being behind all levels and uh, I can't find a place to end an episode where I can actually do some farming afterwards, which is just annoying. Is that demon really Eifried? Eisen would know better than anyone, so I'd take it as a fact. But I thought when people have a strong will like you and Kurogane, they don't lose themselves upon becoming a demon. From how Aizen talks about him, I'd say his strength of will should be considerable. Even if you don't lose yourself, a demon is a demon. When you change, you're no longer human. I don't remember how I felt as a human, but I bet the human me would have thought I'm a real monster. <sighs> but would the old part of Eifried allow him to be so obedient to the Abbey? No. He didn't seem to be following Melchior of his own free will. I imagine Melchior's illusory arts are at play. Like what we saw at Loringen in a ball? Is that enough to control a demon? It would seem so. But more importantly, someone with a psyche resilient enough to impress Aizen should be extraordinarily hard to turn into a demon. So Melchior must be using a particularly nasty illusion, eh? Eifried, Aizen, please be okay. I'm sure everything will be absolutely fine, Lavaset! Probably not, actually. We have another skit here, Clashing Creeds. We have to hurry! Zavid's all alone! Well, he's not exactly an ally. He's got his own creed. Remember the White Horned Dragon? He might try to protect Eifried. So Aizen might too, right? This is Eifried we're talking about, so... He's a demon now. He's not Aizen's old buddy anymore. <sighs> Even if we can't bring him back to being human, there has to be something we can do to make him... himself again. If he's a demon, he'll never be himself again. He attacked Benwick and the rest of his crew. The old Eifried's gone. So, what does Aizen plan to do? I don't know. That's up to him. Worst case, we might have to fight him too. It's best you prepare yourself for that possibility. But... Well, I mean... <sighs> Knowing Aizen and the way that he acts, even if Eifried is someone who's particularly close to him and who he's particularly close to, I think he'll understand that 
there's not much chance of Eifried becoming himself again, and it's really depressing, but you know. Can't really do anything about it, can we? Oh well. Um, <laughs> See, luckily I knew where we were supposed to go. So, um, we're here, pretty much. This will be fun. Question mark. Where am I going? Oh, good lord. I'm not I'm not getting attacked by a tree. That's what I'm doing. Okay. We're good. We're fine. I know where we are. Right. This is gonna be fun. <sighs> okay. Okay. We can do this. It's fine. We'll totally... Is my party okay? Uh, no. I want you. Yeah. This looks good. Okay. Let's go. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I forgot it was a, a walk up, run up kind of situation. Um, I'm slightly worried about this one, considering how the other fights on this island have gone. Uh, yeah, we're still in hardwood. Um, I'm slightly concerned, but I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge. Hopefully. Oh god, there they are. Zavid, you all right? Stop. I know these fists. This is Eifried. Why didn't you fight back? Eifried, she pulled me back from the brink. <laughs> I owe him. This time, it's my turn to bring him back. A demon can never be human again. <laughs> so what? That's supposed to make me change my creed? What do you think, I freed? Sabine! <laughs> After kids now. <sighs> Benwick and your crew risked their lives by your side. Zavid's an idiot, but he stands by his beliefs. I won't let anyone trample their creeds. Even you! I owe you everything, Eifried. And now... It's time to pay it back! No escape! Are you all right with this, Aizen? I am. Let's settle this. Easier said than done. He's a sturdy birdie. Damn right he is. And that's why I've got to do this! This is cool. This is really freaking cool. Okay, he's resistant to earth and water. Why are you fighting against him, Aizen? Uh, he's weak to non-elemental. He's unknown. Okay, we can do this. We can totally do this. Also, this is one of those freaking cool fights. Ow. Where uh, you die immediately. Yeah, it's one of these freaking cool fights. Um, what I was gonna say is that it's one of those really cool fights where, um... Everyone dies? Oh my god! Wow, he's killing everyone really quickly. Okay, stop killing Lapiset! Where um, it plays a particular theme through the fight, is what I was gonna say. Mine! Mine! Okay, okay, we're good. I'm gonna bring someone back. I'm gonna bring back Eleanor because she can bring other people back. Stop eating my healer! Okay, that's fine. For a second, I thought we got souls for him sidestepping, which would make absolutely zero sense. However, oh no! This is not good. No. 
I can't die here. And I just lost the uh, only souls that I had. Um, press F for respect. Okay, <laughs> someone bring me back, please. Actually, I could... Um... No, let's not switch eyes back in. Let's life bottle me. Disgraceful. Mokuro, I could really have used that. Okay, this is fine. I want to switch over to Aizen, I think. Um, but I don't even have one DT. Oh! But now I have a chance to get one BG. That was a really long drawn out sound. Okay. Oh, he's, he's in, he's in. Okay, let's switch to Aizen. Okay, he's mine now. Okay, this is fun. This is fine. This is good. Okay. Uh, he's gonna resist everything that I use. Okay, uh, let's change my arts around. Where right. Windlance is fine. Uh, Stone Lance not so much. Okay, let's put on f not frigid photon. Uh, you know, but the baha. Uh, let's check on another Windlance after that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna just steal these. Oh, oh lord, people are dying all over the place. Okay. Yeah, come grab that. There you go. Or, or don't. You know, that's cool. Actually, if we keep on... Uh, distance is what I was gonna say before I accidentally started using Resurrection, like an idiot. Okay. Ah, crap. I died! Wow, he... Packs a punch. Okay. That was pathetic. Black Devil. Not good. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Okay, he guarded and then killed me in one hit. Wow. Okay. That was pathetic. Okay. Pummel! Windland! This is fine. Air thrust! Windland! Oh, everyone's dead. Everyone is freaking dead. Okay. Uh, let's bring back Eldor. Oh god. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, come after me. Come after me, yeah. Yeah. Just don't actually hit me. Okay, you actually hit me and that's not great. Okay. Hi, bring me back. That was pathetic. Oh god, this is uh, not going well at all. Holy cow. Oh wait, hold on. I want to... No, not you. Um, I... I want to bring back uh uh huh huh Rokuro. Rokuro, I'm in your debt. Hey, you better be in my freaking debt, you meaty. Oh, he was down actually, I could have done something. Okay, this is fine. Uh I'm gonna bring back what set now. Oh, Brokuro's dead. More like Brokuro, because he's dead. Wait, hold on, why is no one doing anything? Oh, is it because you have no health? Oh, they have low health so they're not actually doing anything. Okay, Rokuro, you I'm have some health. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just wait and then, there we go. I'm gonna heal Lapiset. Lapiset. Okay. Bubble. There we go. Oh, he Wind was light. freaking stunned! I'm an idiot! Air thrust. Oh lord, Eldor is dead nor dead nor Wait, why did I just use resurrection on myself like a freaking numpty? Okay, Eldor. Oh, don't you dare murder him. Stop. Okay. Eldor, you're going to die. You are actually going to die. Um, I don't need to use that. Right. Thanks. Oh good, he's alive! Okay, um, I want to... Actually, I'm already healing him, right? There we go. Oh, I didn't heal him that much. Okay, that's kind of useless. Alright, you only have two souls, which is kind of sad for you, actually, but... Yes! There we go! No 
Okay, out of the way, out of the way. Oh, okay. I need to get some souls again. Um, preferably this time not from other people dying. Okay. Because uh, I kind of need everyone alive right now. Especially Rokuro. Airstrike! Okay, okay, this is cool. Um, oh, dang it, I don't have any souls. Did I ever finish that thought when I was saying this is a, that one kind of epic battle? Where it plays like one particular theme throughout the entire battle? So, like, currently it's playing Aizen slash. Uh, the. I, uh, the pirates theme. I can love it. I really do. It's such a great storytelling thing. You know, we're actually wailing on him pretty well, which is good. Oh, oh god. Nope, nope, nope. Well, I have three souls up. Freaking die or be killed. Okay, get out of the way, get out of the way. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay. Um. Yeah, no, I, I really do love Ice and Steve, actually. It's more. Oh no. Well, that hurt. Okay. Someone bring me back, please. We only have five life balls left. So, um. Oh dear. Okay, good. I have three now. I have three. This is fine. Everyone keep it busy. I'm gonna heal Rokuro. Oh, he has a slow... He has slow... Can I heal him? I think I can. No, I can't! Dang it, because he's got slow. Frick, okay. I have quickness. I have quickness. Let's, uh... Let's chuck quickness on my third one. I have three, so this is fine. Forget the pain and move. Quickness. Wait, Rob Harrison? Forget the pain and move. Oh, Magul is in now. Are you kidding? She's not the person I would have chosen, but okay. Blast away the uh, can I? Yeah. That works better for me. Oh, oh my! Didn't even notice myself getting hit there. So that's fine. Could you life bottle me, please? I'm gonna get out of the way. And uh, steal these two. Thank you for the heal that I did not take. Oh. I'm gonna die. Oh god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Okay, this is fine. Alright, great gel. Oh, Velvet's dead. Well, there goes our one and only tank. Oh, stop using that. Oh, good, Mokula's here. Actually, is that great? We just don't know. Okay, I am gonna heal... Velvet. Okay, I want to change my arts so that that's not quickness anymore. I want windlands. Thank you. Okay. Stop using like that. Oh, stop. Okay. Nope. 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 Someone has fair circle. Oh, I think that's Magular. Right. Yeah. When it comes to pay, it's fair to give them the receive. Okay. Sounds good, Magular. Uh, who died? Well, I don't actually know. I'm gonna heal Eleanor. Eleanor. When it comes to pain, it's better to give and receive. Um, okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, stop! 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 Just stop. Okay, this is fine. All right. Someone could stutter down him. That'd be great. Don't use that. Don't use that. Don't use that. Use that. Oh well, someone just got healed. Hi. Bye. I'm gonna heal Eleanor. She's got Rock Satellite up. Actually, I think this is called like Rock Wall or something. I don't know. Don't know why they gave it a different name. I got healed. That's good. Okay. Oh, dang it. He kind of freaking stole him. Not anymore, but. Oh well, that's fine. Okay. Oh, no, don't you dare! I'm gonna get out of the way. Thank you. Oh, can someone please, like, hit him? 
focused on him. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh lord, he's frightening. Okay. Does he have- what, what thingies does he have actually? Uh, oh, wrong person, okay. Right, he has Draconic Dragon, da, 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 he has Howling Dragon, which I've never actually used on him. Uh, 8 hit or higher combo consumes 4 BG. Oh, I'll try that at some point. I don't think I've used it on him anyway. I didn't really check. Oh, okay, I got a soul for that, but he wasn't stunned or down for long enough. Okay, we're good. Oh. Die or be killed. Okay, get out of the Okay, he's actually going down now, which is good. Um. Better watch your step. Okay. Um, I think I have a strategy. That strategy is just kind of keep away from the big cast. Um. Because he's like really strong. And I'm, uh. I'm scared. <laughs> Which, you know, for Aizen, is totally a character, but. Oh, nice! Oh, I wish I had his freaking Mystic Heart, but I did. unfortunately, don't have enough for BG. <sighs> that would have been such a cool one. Blades of wind, slice them! End of the road. Me! Taking hostages now. I'm sorry. Just forget about me. I'm I'm prepared for whatever happens. All right. You've grown. You're a man now. Family, friends, everything I ever tried to hold on to, all of it trickled away, fell from my grasp. But a certain idiot once told me, if you can't hold something in your hand, then make a fist and take it by force. This fist will take everything back. Just like you told me to! Uh. Ah! <sighs> I know this fist. It's you. Sorry. Caused you a lot of trouble, didn't I? Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? Demon changed back into a human? Forget it. It's too late. I'm sorry. If I only knew how to use my power. Stop crying. Didn't you say you were prepared for anything? And you were searching for Eifried for so long. <sighs> You're still as soft as you ever were. Boy, I'll let you in on little secrets. Your power comes from being part of Inominat. Which means if you can seal off his domain, you actually got a chance of putting up a good fight. Seal off his domain? The four elemental Empyreans sleeping in the Earth pulses. If you can rouse them from their slumber. Hurry, 
while Artorius and Inominat are occupied. They're getting ready for some ceremony of suppression. It's now or never, kid. Thank you, Eifried. <laughs> I'm just sad I can't go with you. This sounds like a goddamn blast. I won't apologize. You shouldn't. I'm grateful. You always kept things from getting dull. If we ever meet again, let's raise some hell. Eisen. Yeah, we will. See you, Eifried. I owe you one, Zavid. We had a chance to bring him back. But you went and killed him. Next time I see you, we'll settle the score. Between me and your creed. See you around, Zavid. So, we need to wake the four elemental Empyreans? But how do we do it? Dunno, maybe you tickle their divine footsies with a feather until they... You're back! And you're looking better. Somehow. But what happened to that demon? We killed him. Benwick. He... Let me tell him. The rest of you, find Grimoire and ask her about the four Empyreans. Aizen. Are you sure? Do it. He gave us this chance. We can't waste it. Okay. Oof, that was a thing. Holy cow, that was a battle and a half. Um, somehow we managed that. God, oh, that last scene with Eifried as well was just amazing. That entire sequence of events, just this game. It's really good, I love it. Um, let's have a look at our expedition that came back. Although no one's in the um, mood to be speaking, it's right. <laughs> let's do this one run, get some style, guys. Okay, maybe Roker always. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Right, uh, we're just missing one material, two specials, and then the next area. Okay, let's go back there. And uh, I don't think we have anything else to, oh wait, we have a few people to talk to. Let's talk to these people then. The pirates knew what they were facing when the Horde Demon attacked. Even so, through hardness and through sadness and anger, they gallantly battled on. Not one backed down. That's the power of humanity, wouldn't you say? I would agree, yeah. Hi, Kamuata. The pirates all seemed pretty down. It's not their fault, though. That Horde Demon was really scary. I'm sure it was, Kamuata. Hi, Medusa. A number of pirates passed away in the attack. When an outlaw meets his end, it's his own fault. But still, how could a captain slaughter his own crew? That's too cold-blooded, even for a lizard. <sighs> I think Dyle's here just to make lizard jokes. Right. Hi, Grim. Resurrect the Elemental Empyreans. True. If we do that, we might be able to suppress Inominat's domain. It may even liberate the minds of the Malachim that Inominat has under his control. I'm sure some will no longer obey their exorcists. Good. We'll take a big bite out of their forces. More importantly, Inominat will lose the ability to enhance the resonance of his exorcists. Most exorcists will no longer even be able to perceive Malachim at all, just like before. Of course, anyone as innately gifted as me is another story. Will I... become unable to see Lafayette? We won't know until we try. Eleanor... Then let's give it a shot. I'll... accept whatever happens. 
But these elemental Empyreans, they're gods, right? You sure it's okay to disturb their beauty sleep? They control the four elements. Waking them is likely to upset the balance of the world quite a bit. I'll take that as a no, then. We don't even know how to revive them. At worst. If it's anything like the opening, then we need to offer a sacrifice at the Earth Pulse on a Scarlet Night. We have to kill someone? The act of killing is not essential to the ceremony. All that's needed is a soul free of malevolence. Hmm. If that's true, then doesn't Velvet already have a whole belly full of them? The exorcists I devoured. It's perfect. You're a Therian. You're capable of releasing the power you absorb. The souls of the high-ranking exorcists you ate should do nicely. Use Oscar and Teresa's souls to resurrect the Empyreans? It's worth a try, at least. When's the next Scarlet Night? Three years after the advent. In other words, soon. Hmm. Do we have enough time? The four Empyreans are asleep in different places, right? Correct. Four Earth Pulses for four Empyreans. But if you use a life pool, you may be able to awaken all four at the same time. A life pool? Earth Pulses normally flow horizontally, but in exceptionally rare cases, they can flow vertically. This causes energy to collect at the Earth Pulse's base, forming a life pool. Though sometimes the energy flows the other way, upward, into what's called a life spring. Ho-ho! Oh, so if we make use of one of these life pools, a single sacrifice could reach all four Empyreans. Where are they? There's a life pool in the northern reaches of Midgand. But I heard a large temple was built over it recently. That's the Empyrean throne! We can't go there! It's Inominat's home base! Ah... Uh. Most unfortunate. Couldn't we use a life spring? It all connects to the same place, right? We'll have to go against its flow, but... We'll force the soul right down its throat. Where's the nearest life spring? Our best bet would be Mount Killerous. Aizen? I'm fine. What's done is done. Killerous? That's the volcano on the northernmost tip of Northgand, but it's a hellscape of ice and lava! Naturally. Killerous is the most powerful life spring there is. So, in short, we shove the souls of the exorcists into the molten core of that volcano. That should awaken the four elemental Empyreans. Together, they will seal off Inominat's domain. It's just a theory, but... It's one I'll put my money on. Me too. Then we're off to Northgand. Mount Killerous is north of Helleviz. All right, it looks like our next location is a volcano! Yay! All right, we need to head to Elvis and then the volcano in Northgand. Okay, can we do anything else? No, apparently not. Okay, we'll have to talk to Benwick first. Um, so yeah, let's just head on with it, I suppose. Benwick! Oh wait, I can talk to these guys as well? Hi! Come on, it's time for action! Sitting around and taking it is, is against our creed. I messed up there, but that's fine. We're as ready as ever. <laughs> Sorry, but it'll take a lot more than that to break Eifried's crew. Fair enough. Oh, Grim as well. Grim! Grim! Awakening the elemental Empyreans by injecting exorcist souls into Mount Killerous. As a plan, it's sheer lunacy, but we have no other weapons with which to fight Inominot. <sighs> I've never done something so ridiculous. It's actually rather thrilling. I'm sure it is. <laughs> okay, Benwick, hi. The ship's ready to sail. Where are you headed? We don't have a problem. If you've got a grudge, we can settle it here and now. Huh? Why would we have a grudge against you guys? The first mate fought like the first mate. The captain died like the captain, right? I suppose. Then no swabby here can blame you for what happened. We're Eifried's pirates, and don't forget it. We're not so pathetic that we need pity from some lord of calamity. All right. The ship's in your hands. Aye, aye. You can count on us. See, they're pretty hardy. They know what they're doing. I trust them. Right. We have another skit here. The death of the captain. The Von Eltia looks the same as ever. But it feels utterly different, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Even Benwick looked like he'd been crying. I can imagine. But if we let ourselves despair now, we'd be a disgrace to Eifried's creed. We have to swallow our anger and grief, and sail on. Right. Following a creed isn't always pleasant. We must do what we must. I won't allow the Abbey to do things like this. Destroying someone like that, turning them into a puppet, it's unconscionable. Still, a heart can never be fully bridled. It can be shattered, but never erased entirely. Eifried proved that. Right. His body is gone, but he lives on through his crew. Magilu is right. What lives in one's heart can never be erased. Yeah, the heart is eternal. So, like, <laughs> completely unrelated to the skin here. <laughs> but I'd never heard the word unconscionable before I played freaking Tales of Zysteria, where in Saray it's talking about, what was it, uh, parents disavowing their own children at the Earth Shrine. It's unconscionable. And then freaking Eleanor pulls it out here as well. We have nothing else to do, so apparently we need to just set sail for Helenes. Can we actually go anywhere else? Let's move. The captain's crane is with us, as long as the Von Elia still sails. Oh, okay, we can only go to Helenes. Guess we're going there then. I see. Or a calcum or not, Stormquell snapped like a twig. I'm afraid so. It was Inominat who did it. But I think Shigure could have done the same. So hardness alone isn't enough. Forgive me. I thought I had found clarity, but it was only foolish pride. You should be proud. You are, without a doubt, the greatest swordsmith in the world. I'm looking forward to your next blade. Even now, you would still place your trust in me? Of course. Is there any other swordsmith who could craft a blade out of Orichalcum? You're a master of your art. A visionary who spent centuries working to forge a blade of legend. I'm honored to know you. I don't know what to say. Unless, of course, you've given up on making a sword to surpass Stormhowl. <laughs> Does this look like the face of a man who's given up? Not in the least. <laughs> We're making good time. The only problem is that ceremony that Arturius was going on about. We don't know how long it'll take. Eifried said they called it the Ceremony of Suppression. Most likely, it's how Inominat plans to release his power. Most likely. He hasn't absorbed Lafayette in your despair, so Inominat should still be incomplete. But if his powers fully awaken... Humanity will be robbed of their free will. I can hear them celebrating now. The uglinesses of the human soul are suppressed. And the world is free of malevolence. Hurrah, hurrah. Robbing humanity of its will. They'll be like I once was. Oh, something's coming.
Hey, uh, please, guys, let's not fight! <laughs> This is a domain? Inominat's domain! <sighs> Their wills have been stolen! It's not been fully sealed away yet. Rokuro, give him a good smacking! Wake him up! On it! Aizen! Got it. We'll put in at the nearest harbor. To Port Zexon! Ah! I feel like some jerk played tug of war with my brain. Dig up some spirit. They're trying to strip away your will. You're all right. I do not deserve to be all right. I used people, stepped on them just to make a profit. I even aided wanted criminals so that I could expand my business. My soul is black with ugliness and can never be forgiven. Huh? No, wait! Stop! The world needs to be purified of malevolence. I don't belong here. I have to die. I have to die. I have to die. No, it's not right! Oh. You can die if you want. But saying you have to die is a good way to make my blood boil. Those awakened to their own malevolence seek to end their lives. Welcome to Artorias' uncompromising world of reason. First they steal humanity's rudder. And now they want to say who lives and who dies? We should find out what's happening here. Unless you'd rather not see. You're right. I wouldn't. But I won't hide from the truth any longer. Before anything else, we'll need to confirm just how far his power reaches. Let's head to Logris. So this is the result of their ceremony of suppression. Seems that way. They've brought their peace to mankind. That's super freaking creepy! Making people suicidal because they're apparently bad people? Oh, I hate them so much! Oh my god! It's great storytelling, dear god. Right, we have a skit here. Suppressed world, ideal world. You know me not suppression. Is this the ideal world the Abbey envisions? Bien! There's no life in anyone's eyes! This isn't a fun place at all! It's not just people's minds being shackled. They're being forced to die, too. It's terrible. Why would dying be part of anyone's ideal world? Even under such strict control, new sins can still rise to the surface. If that happens, it's better to end the life of the sinner. Melchior came to the same logical conclusion. What utter rubbish. Anyway, we need to get to Logris. Is it really weird that I can, like, see a line of logic here? Not not in the game actions, I think that Artorias and Melchior are making terrible decisions here. <laughs> but, like, in the actual game developers, just... They started making Zysteria, they thought, okay, it'd be really cool to do, like, the kind of opposite, you know, following a Lord of Calamity who's out to get the Shepherd, and it's, ooh, in the past, so you could add, like, loads of references and stuff. 
And then they're like talking about sinners and stuff in this game. And it just reminds me of all the promo material I've seen for Tales of Crestoria, which is a new mobile game that comes out this year. Um, I'm just seeing this line of logic and all of the arguments I've seen about Crestoria possibly being in this same universe are starting to make even more sense. But I, I don't know if it actually is in this universe, but it's an interesting argument. Anyway, we have yet another skit here in Nomadat's expanding domain. What's going to happen to the world? How far will Nominat's power spread? When his domain expanded, I felt a faraway power suddenly come closer. It was enough to blot out the whole sky. I'm sure it's covered other towns too. His domain has certainly extended to at least the entire populace of this country. Otherwise, what would be the point? That means what happened at Port Zexen is happening everywhere. Everyone is either a puppet or... Dead by their own hands. Inominat created this ideal hell in a single moment. That's the power we're up against. So we few are standing against a truly monumental force. This is your last chance to turn back. Turn back to what exactly? Forward or back, we're headed into hell either way. At least this way, I'll have my own free will. I'd prefer a living damnation to that oblivion. Well, don't come crying to me later. Let's move along then. Yeah, I really don't blame you, Eleanor. Dear God, this is an awful rally. Anyway, I think it's about time to head off this episode here today. I'm just checking to make sure that there's not a thing here. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today. Um, with the Eifried fight, dear God, that was cool. Um, with all of this stuff about the suppression. Um, I hope you guys are excited for the next episode as well. I know that quite a lot is going to happen, so look out for it. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I uh, hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time is for you. And I will see you next time. I need to put Lafayette back in my party. I'm in this by my own choice. Oh, that's adorable. I love you, Lafayette. That's so freaking cute. I'm... Leave the fighting to me. Oh my god, they've all got new ones. Oh, she's not got a new one. Oh, wait, because she was. Right. You've got my support. Oh, he's got a new one again. Oh, no. Fine, fine. I'll join your little combat crew. Watch, and I'll show you my Rangetsu style. Oh, my God. Oh, miss me that much, did ya? Watch, and I'll show you my Rangetsu style. Fine, fine. I'll join your little co- You want me in? Fine by me. Fine, fine. I'll join your little co- Right. You've got my support. Oh, miss me that- Right. You've got my support. Oh, can't a witch- You know what you're getting into? Oh, can't a witch get a little downtime? I'm very distracted right now. You know what you're getting into? Oh my god. Oh, miss me that- You know what you're getting into? Oh, miss me that mu- I'll never run. Even at the bitter end. Ooh. Oh, can't a witch get a little down- I've made my choice. I fight. This is cool. This is cool. I like this. Oh, can't a witch get a little- I've made my choice. I fight. Oh my god. Oh, miss I'll never run. Oh. Now, face the Lord of Calamity! This is cool. Oh my god.